it's just a great movie. And essential. <laughs> Another amazing thing to me about this is it was well well received at Academy Award yes. time, nominated for Best Picture. William Powell was nominated for Best Actor, Best Director, Best Director, and on and on. But no Myrna Loy, and Myrna Loy, as great as she was, and she starred in what two or three movies, certainly two: The Great Ziegfeld and This Years of Our Lives, that won Best Picture of the Year. Was never nominated for an Academy Award. But that's again where you go back to that thing: she was never bad. She always had this great attitude, this great performance, no matter whether it was in a drama or a comedy or whatever. But she made it look so easy that she never got credit for being the great actor she was. Yeah. One thing that, you know, much to your point about this film, The Thin Man, garnering so many Academy Award nominations right around the same time that It Happened One Night did as well. And I love seeing when the Academy recognizes comedies mm -hmm. or films of delight and... You know, it, they say dying is easy, comedy is hard, and that's that famous quote. And yet the Academy, you know, sort of simply refuses to recognize a lot of comedic performances. And those are people in the business that know that this isn't easy to do. I love when comedies are recognized, and I feel like in that time of The Thin Man and the It Happened One Night, it, it was a little bit more ubiquitous or regular that comedies were nominated and I would love to see that implemented mm -hmm. again because I do think that it isn't just the films that make us cry, it's the films that make us laugh right. and laughter and crying to me are twins and it's something that moves you um, and God bless comedies uh, in the most profound way. So. I love that this film was so recognized or yes. when any comedy is recognized in the Academy. Yes, indeed. Well, let's move on, okay? Okay. Here's what's on the docket for us next time on The Essentials. The Black Stallion, 1979. This may be basically a children's story, but it's even more relevant to adults. This is a film that has unparalleled cinematography from Caleb Deschanel. Mickey Rennie's performance in this is one of the best of the later part of his career. The Black Stallion possesses a poetry like no other film made. From 1979, The Black Stallion. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at TCM.com. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, life is a banquet to Rosalind Russell as the one and only Auntie May. Then Spencer Tracy walks Elizabeth Taylor down the aisle as the father of the bride. And Kris Kringle is in for a devil of a time in Santa Claus.